Hey guys, so this episode is interesting, frankly, because in 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 in, 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 in terms of everything I've 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 seen of the original anime, everything I've read of the manga, the when, 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 the, the, the the pretty much fight with Faust in itself is 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 pretty much up there as as much, as, as, as as one of the as one of the things. As one of the things I I kind of had I kind of had a a a, 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 a little bit higher than the normal expectations for, uh like like, like to me this 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 was in, at least in the in the top five like the fight with Faust is like in the top five things I, I had wanted to see in this in 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 this in this reboot and, and see how it would how it would translate and adapt onto the screen, and so yeah I was so. And, and there was just so much I was looking forward to because j j just from on concept alone of 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 of, 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 of necromancer as 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 a shaman, that that in itself lends itself to to, 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 to so many twisted and macabre pos and macabre possibilities that you can't help but be a little fascinated by how this would play out. But even more so, just how the execution is handled, and honestly. From the very first establishing establishing shot of the episode, and and, and from frankly a, a, a lot of pretty much individual scenes and moments throughout the episode, Studio Bridge had really matched the original anime in a lot of ways, and, and how how it, how it just really captured the, the, this very this very dark this dark and, and very tragic and just overall like and 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 and, 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 and extremely dreadful. Just, just, just from dreadful tone. Like, like, like there, there was a genuine sense of almost fear with the episode. There was a genuine sense of like fear in a lot of shots and scenes in the episode. But, and and just really, it really made you fear like, like, like Prince Faust's presence even before we met him. But, but, but the thing is, but, but that's obviously in in a lot of like in a lot of atmospheric. But again, that, that, that's that's in a lot of atmospheric ways that 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 that, that, pretty, much the, that pretty much the the episode works. When we get into the actual ep fight itself, though, that's where things kind of slide down a bit. And here's the thing: it 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 it, 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 it at, at, when I'm going into this episode, I was expecting okay, m okay, maybe at worst what I'm gonna have to look at is is a bit of awkward CGI or something like that. But honestly, but but Bridge actually went in a direction that I even I didn't didn't think they would because, but, but believe it or not, guys, a, a lot a lot of the a lot of this fight was was pretty much cut down heavily from the manga, like and and it isn't even just like. And then you just like like one scene or more. It's it's it, it, it they were whole scenes where it it generally it it generally makes me say that that that, that 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 when it came to the adaptation of this episode, Bridge outright censored scenes. And the thing is, like I'm I'm being dead serious. Like the, 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 there were actual scenes that, that were cut out that were cut out from the adaptation. That may you say is. Is, is from bridge is from bridge censoring this fight intentionally or what because yeah the the, the thing is the, 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 there are a lot of scenes and a lot of moments throughout that, that are very gory very bloody and and just very like just, just very exploitative in some ways i'm not going to deny that like the, 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 there's a whole scene where or, 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 or there's a whole scene where, 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 where pretty much Manda's whole stomach gets pretty much cut open and it is somewhat shown in this episode but at the same time it it, it, it the, the the episode the episode like pretty much cuts away well, the episode cuts away before you actually see it happen so it's one of those things where it's kind of hard for me to tell so yeah obviously the biggest problem with this episode is censorship and the thing is it's kind of hard for me to tell if the censoring was only done for the for broadcast purposes and we'll get to see like full scenes in the DVDs, Blu-rays, or if Bridge like had had censored this themselves, and I want to believe it's the former over the latter, especially given how many graphic moments were cut from this fight. But at the same time, looking at the timestamp of the episode doesn't give me much confidence either. Which, like, at the end of the like, so again, on an atmospheric level, the the the, the episode works, 
But when 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 you dive into the nitty gritty of of the dynamics of this fight and whatnot, just how just how graphic it was supposed to be, the 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 there the is a severe lack of impact, even even more so than the original anime. And and to be fair, I think Studio Bridge tried to compensate for this, but by playing with more psychological and fearful aspects through the skeletons and Faust himself. But yeah, overall th this. But overall, this, this is pretty much one episode where where we're pretty much cutting a lot out. It 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 didn't work in its favor. Like this is, this this is the one time. This is like this isn't exactly like the but this isn't exactly like 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 Bridge's best work, frankly. And yeah, I'm needless to say, I'm I'm extremely disappointed by. But, but I'm extremely disappointed, but but by the by this episode because j just from cutting out a lot of what they did, it lacks a, a, a real sense of impact in the episode. And yeah, I, I don't know. I want to believe that that we're gonna get that a lot a lot of what was cut out might actually be seen in the DVDs release, but I don't know if it's possible or not. Um, with that said, one thing I kind of have to give credit to this episode for. Is that even though the backstory was just as minimal as it was in the original anime, I do feel I do feel the reboot d does weirdly tap into a lot more of the tragedy of Faust's life and just how much the, the, how much uh, how, how much the, the, the pretty much death of Eliza had uh, had affected him psychologically. Whereas before the original anime, even though they did still show the tragedy of what happened, they kind of played up the, 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 the they kind of played a lot of the psychological aspects, like like over overly more to the point where it did make him like almost comically evil rather than tragically evil rather than tragic almost and th there's just overall a lot more subtlety to his character and actions now and while exaggerated with the whole necromancy and, and faust's insanity it does still show just how far and to what extremes the, the grief can push a person like it, it, it like grief is a, is a very powerful emotion and it can affect you in in very long-term ways in fact this episode it kind of plays into something I've really started to believe in ever since. This episode really kind of plays into something that I've started to really believe ever since my dad died, which is that when when a loved one dies, passes away, we pretty much tell ourselves we'll 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 pretty much tell ourselves we'll move beyond it. The grief and the sadness will will basically push. Well, it'll all pass. But the truth is. It never does. What we perceive as moving up past grief is really just coping and adapting to the loss, but there's never, no real, like, ever overcoming it. It's always something that's there for us. It's always something that, that's kind of a looming presence over us, frankly, and it's, it's never gone. Um, it's, it's all about how we adapt, though, I think, at the end of the day. Uh, now, another positive about this episode compared to the original anime is that I do like how it does play up the importance of Yo's bond with Monta more more through Anna's like intervention in the fight, and it it will, it, and and it will make like a scene argument next episode feel more earned and understandable. Whereas in the original anime, it felt more frustrating and nonsensical, nonsensically forced, just just from how we pretty much know exactly every step in which the blow up was going to be resolved. And granted, it's the same deal here as well, but again because of because of the circumstances, it will make the decision more understandable. A little less impactful, again, because of the censorship, mind you. But the context is still there, and the importance of like just what's going to happen is 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 is, is pretty much brought is is kind of makes it a lot more emotionally emotionally gripping. Um, the other thing I really like about this fight, though, is that is that it, it, is that through through his loss to Faust, uh, it through his loss of us, it kind of forces Yo to grapple with his own weakness and lack of emotional strength, because while well, 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 a good portion of the reason for Yo's loss in this fight was Faust tricking him into fighting early, early before the match officially started, just the fact that he that Yo let himself be tricked at all to the point that he couldn't even fight against the lowest form of a uh, 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 Prince Faust like, like skeletons, shows a severe lack of control on his part even even by the time he turned faust's own tech against him it was too late and 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 and, and it really just took ren like coming having to step in it, it drilled home further that yo still 
for, for as strong as he has gotten, he still isn't strong enough. He need he he he, 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 he has to always be looking forward. He has to always be thinking of, of how he can he can he can push past his limits and always get stronger. But he, he whereas before he 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 he's always been trying to get stronger in the moment, but he hasn't really been thinking about further ahead. I think and this. This episode was definitely definitely a reminder of that I think, uh, but yeah, guys, that's all I got for this review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Twitter analyst crunch roll, and be sure to hit the bell to get notifications and just just share the video around. Death Night Enemy, signing off. Later, guys.